Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Rat Gutard and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising <clears throat> Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 27th to September 2nd 2018 <clears throat> So before we start with the Tarot reading guys, if you want a personal reading with me Everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video And as this is the end of the summer I'm running and of the summer sale which concerned the 30 minutes um, live reading and it automatically becomes 40 minutes live reading so yeah when you purchase a 30 minutes uh, live reading you have a, a 10 minutes extra so um, the first position here from the tarot spread regarding your will your week will concern the uh, topic then the second position here will refer to the core of the situation third position for you cancers uh, will show us the uh, difficulties you have to cope with for the duration of the week and the last card here or the last position will give us uh, the uh, guidance for you to adopt for the duration of the week so uh, let's see what we do have for the first card here now that will be the sun card so this card alone for you it speaks that the week is going to be rather on the favorable side the sun card is a sign uh, that as a topic as well that you should allow your uh, situations and you know your undertakings as well relationships activities in general to unfold naturally in the midst of activity so you should not be way too aggressive with your undertakings, but in the same time, laziness should not be the answer as well. So you have to be up, no, up, up of most normal approach possible toward your situation. Also, the sun card here as a topic of the week asks you to um, make peace with uh, with the people around you in general you know with these co-workers that you had in about that you were in about terms uh, lately you know um, try to settle down disagreements with your partner at your uh, at your relationship as well or with your family if you do have a certain disagreements with them now the sun card here is a profound meaning it does asks you to be that gentle soul that drops happiness every single where it goes so you have to be the one who is the example you have to be the one who cheers everybody up and it exerts positive attitude as well and gives them strength and hope to move on forward now the core of the situation here or why we do have the sun card that will be the death card uh, uh, that's that's very strange now the only way that this card could be interpreted as a follow-up to the sun as a core of the situation is through the method known as the fool's journey so um, what is the previous card of the death card that is the uh, the hangman so uh, that points to this stagnation it is over and now is the time to change your situation around from being a, a situation of halt now to be set back into stir by taking on and making the necessary changes there which are needed in order that situation to start unfolding how as we said here naturally <clears throat> So, what I can say from these couple of cards is that the things finally will be settled down, will be get back on track, either with your relationship or with, with your career, or probably with both or with all of your... Um, all of your being and life in general here and now uh, things will start moving on forward again. <clears throat> if they have been uh, facing a certain wall and whatever um, well, whatever effort you have placed in order to push something forward was utterly futile now they will be futile no longer so you have to use that particular momentum here to really uh, capitalize on the changing environment that happens around you and which puts your your situation back in motion you know back in stir things are start moving again slowly but steady and you can um, you can exert, uh, kind of capitalize on that moment of happiness so you can be that gentle So as I said, dropping that happiness bit by bit everywhere it goes. 
so you can expect here improvement into your relationship, improvement into your career, but that improvement will happen through making a settling down piece and making good, um, making your terms into the positive end again with your co-workers, you know, with your uh, boyfriend or a girlfriend, with your parents, etc, etc. Now the next card here that points to the challenges you need to overcome, this is going to be the star card. <clears throat> And uh, what will be challenging for you is to traverse this uh, end of stag stagnation into a, a long term, um, um, into the uh, into the long term goal. Well, I don't know really the English word here, guys, but it's kind of like to sustain, you know, that state of movement which is happening right now and traverse it into something long lasting. Now <clears throat> the star card is associated with hope you know and with a something to look forward to and that could very well refer the lack of belief that that state of um, that states of joy, of happiness, of success as well, you know, because the Sun card also may point to a monetary success here, will be ever long, uh, will be long lasting, excuse me, and that lack of belief that will be long lasting could po could force you to be rather more frantic about capitalizing on your opportunities which are swirling around you, and therefore the only um, the only threat that you have to think about here is burning out rather quickly of trying to capitalize on all that is around you. So uh, what is important here to uh, realize is that as the star card falls into a challenging position, it does look like the, the things will really will be long lasting, but you have to be much more confident in your skills and in yourself in general that you can sustain your place into your career that you can sustain your relationship you know you 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 have to be much more confident in your standpoints so whenever you feel uh, that you are burning out it is rather more advisable to take a um, a couple of hours or a day maybe off so you can recuperate here and so you can regain back your vital energy and afterwards you know get back on uh, get back on track with your uh, with the changes that you are exerting and with the plans that you are executing and the last card here is the guidance that you should follow now that will be the two of pentacles and as we said about changes now this card refers that those changes has to stop and has to uh, start excuse me or has to happen from the first small things so you should not aim for to um, manifest the uh, the grand change which is going to uh, traverse you know the direction of um, of your undertaking here you have to start from the small things into your environment you know from your habits maybe uh, <clears throat> from the way you uh, interact with your co-workers with your partner as well into your relationship etc etc this card also asks you to not be way too biased about the certain outcomes and about certain expectations as well but be much, but but be much more open-minded and um, and that also refers to a certain outcomes here now um, uh, if a certain under undertaking comes to an outcome even if the outcome is profitable even if the outcomes is successful it may not be the outcome you are expecting therefore uh, you may uh, kind of accept it as a, uh, a failure so that should obviously not happen this is also a change you need to capitalize on where you have to be grateful for the successful outcome regarding what the outcome is you know uh, regardless excuse me what the outcome is etc etc what the point of the two of pentacles here is to be much more um, <clears throat> not just open-minded guys but open to receive a, a, versi uh, a versatile um, 
a versatile out outcomes and blessings, all right? You may not receive for the duration of the week those blessings you are hoping for, as the star card um, suggests, but you will still receive positive blessings here, either into your career or either into your relationship. And you can capitalize on those positive blessings to start the minor changes which are going to snowball and will provoke the grand change which will now allow your situation to be put back in stir and that your undertaking will be marked as successful at the end. And not to mention that you will be able to make a good terms with the people around you as well. And then we do have the Lenormand cards, which uh, for them we do have the broom and the whip, followed by the um, followed by the the fox, and then we do have the child. So this has a, a couple of interpretations. Now it depends on how the fox comes uh, in your life. Now the fox could be either of any cunning and clever person or it could be a, a co-worker of yours. So you will have here, a, this is a conflict but it's not really a conflict toward a, a bad end. That is more like a, a, a conversation of differences with a um, with a name here or with a goal for you to uh, combine those differences or rather to <clears throat> prove your differences resourceful, prove your means, excuse me, or prove your point resourceful. Because this person here, either a very clever and cunning one, or either a co-worker, it is, it's clearly immature, because that point, because that's, uh, these cards are read like this, you know, conflicts and, and uh, conversations with either a, a, a cunning and clever person or a co-worker, which are quite immature. So they, uh, they may be involved in those conversations, you know, they may argue with you, but they are arguing based on their cunningness and cleverness than the clue what they are doing. Uh, so they have no clue of what the, uh, the, the material of the undertaking is and yet they are arguing with you based on pure logic and based on uh, pure predictions from their behalf without knowing the very core and the root of the matter. So that being said, Cancers, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, if you want a personal reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of the video. And um, <clears throat> if you want some extra time for what you pay, uh, we do have a, a summer and spring uh, sale which adds a additional 10 minutes to your 30 minutes purchase so that being said rat signing out now guys see you next time bye